So now that you see there's wind, there's a whole lot of wind. Back to you, Larry. Hey guys, welcome back to our 2020 LP Summer Olympic Games. Tonight I have Abby playing with me. And for the first game, you're going to need some books and that tape that we put down on the first screen for you. So the object of this game is you're going to get that tape on the floor and you have to walk to the end of it, put a book on your head, walk to the other end of it without it dropping, put another book on your head, and walk back. And you're going to keep repeating the process and keep stacking books every time you reach the end of the tape. So you're going to keep going until the books fall. And whatever book you land on, so if you have three books on your head and then they fall, your score is going to be two. Does that make sense? So we're just going to see how this goes. If you guys don't have any tape, you guys can use shoestring or rope or something that can mark the distance for you guys. OK, so let's play. Let's hold it. Oh, gosh, you can't see. Ready? Oh, this is easy. Okay. Book me, please. <laughs> okay, make sure when you guys do this, you don't touch it with your hands. That's the whole goal. You got to balance it on your head. Okay, now it's hard. What if I... Okay. This is scary. Okay, okay. I really don't... Oh! Does that count? Yeah, you're at the end. Okay. It's okay to hold it when you're at the end. That's good to know. We don't want these books to go in the pool. Okay, I, Okay, now I'm nervous. Okay. Okay. Dang, I'm a pro. Turn. Oh! <laughs> But I made it to the end, right? Yeah. That's true. Okay. That counts as three. Okay, sweet. I got all three books. Now it's Abby's turn. And go! The wind's picking up. The wind. <gasps> Can I start over? Yeah, we'll start over since you just started. <laughs> See? I'm going to try to walk fast. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Kind of scary, huh? Yeah. I, I mean, I'm more scared because I don't want these books to go in the pool. Jeez, you're so tall. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for coming down to my level. <laughs> okay. So once she walks away from there, then she can't hold it. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. I can touch him now? Yes. Right? Okay. Oh man, that's scary. This isn't going to be good. This is... <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> okay. You're doing great. You're doing great. Oh. oh my gosh, there's no way. No way. You can do it. We have different shaped heads. Maybe you just need a flat head like me. You know, my head's misshapen. Oh! oh, oh. oh. Can I run over there? You can do whatever you want as long as you make it over there. Oh, good job! You did it! <laughs> that was good. Charity, you brought me a gift? No, silly! It's our next game! Oh, that's right. Hey, these look like my socks. Oh, just kidding. I have similar ones. Okay, guys, so for our next game, we're going to get all those five pairs of socks that we asked you to get. And uh, it's super easy. The first person to get all fair fair all five pairs <laughs> match first is the winner of this game so super easy all right are you ready there's no timer they have to be folded together though you can't just say here's a pair yeah you've got to fold them together set them down go the next until you have all five so so no cheating <laughs> okay i'm ready and begin Ooh. oh what i think did you give me long socks on purpose <laughs> I got long socks too. I oh. have more long socks, I think. Oh, yep. How? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's going to win. These are her socks. It's rigged. <laughs> Dang it. I was so close. <laughs> okay. Good job, Abby. Abby won that one. Oh, wait. Oh, no. 
Thanks guys for joining with us. I hope you guys had fun playing the 2020 LP Summer Olympic Games. But Abby has a, a joke for us before we leave. Okay, knock knock. Who's there? Water. Water who? What are you waiting for? <laughs> Open the door. What are you waiting for? <laughs> That's a good one. Speaking of water, I hope you guys stay tuned next week because next week's games will be about water. Yeah, you're going to want to come back for next week's games. And make sure to stay tuned for Miss Sarah. Bye, guys. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I hope you've been doing your training. If you remember last week, we started our LP Kids Olympics. And what we're talking about is what the Bible says. And it says that physical training is good, but spiritual training is the best training. This, if you train yourself spiritually, that it's good not just for this life, but for eternal life, forever, your whole life with God. And the goal... I made a medal because our goal in our Olympics is to become godly. It's godliness, to become more like God. So that's our goal that we're trying to achieve. We're training to become godly so we can be more like God. Um, and I was thinking about that. And as I was thinking about it, I was thinking, man, what's the training process? And at the very beginning of training, usually what an athlete does is they find an expert. And they call it a coach. And everybody that wants to get better needs a coach. Um, if you're going to do gymnastics in the Olympics, you're probably going to get a gymnastics coach. If you want to swim, you're probably going to get a swimming coach. If you want to play basketball, you're going to get a basketball coach. And the reason you do that is you want somebody who's an expert to teach you how to become better at what you want to be. And it's the same for being a Christian. If you want to be better and more godly, then you've got to know the expert. You have to know God. God's got to be your coach. And we got to talk about that first before we get into any more of our spiritual training. Because if you don't know God, you can't become very godly. Even if you know the steps to be godly, you can't be godly without God. He's the expert. He's the coach. So I was thinking about that. And I remember this way of showing you how you could know God, how you could know the coach to life. And um, the way that I want to show you is I brought some Legos in. And we're going to have two sides. Okay. And over here, this is where we are before we know God. Okay. We're kind of living over here. And then over here is God. Now the reason we're not together with God, we've learned this before, is because of our sin, right? The things that we do that God tells us not to is sin, and that keeps us from knowing God. And until Jesus came, we couldn't know God. Our sins separated us from God. The wages of sin is death, a life without God. And um, I was thinking about how do we get to know God? And the truth is, Jesus came, I made a little cross with the Legos, to make a way for us to know God. Right? To take away our sins. He died for our sins. And the Bible says that Jesus made a way to take away our sins. But the truth is, the Bible also says we have to choose to let him do that before we could get to know him. And 1 John 1, 9 says that if we confess our mouths with our mouths that Jesus is Lord and believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, we'll be saved. And God made a way for us to get to know him through Jesus. But if we never choose to, we can't ever cross over to know God. We can't have a life with God. And I'm sharing that with you guys because a lot of you guys know about God. A lot of you guys know about Jesus. But just because you know facts doesn't mean you really believe him in your heart. It doesn't mean you've chosen to trust him with your life. And until you do that, until you decide to trust Jesus with your life, you're not going to know him. You're not, he's not going to be able to be your coach, right? You're not ever going to be able to become godly. 
So the first step in becoming godly in our training is you have to know Jesus. You have to choose to trust him and follow him with your whole life forever. And the way you do that is you just say, Jesus, I know that I've messed up and the things that I've done that you don't want me to are keeping me from having a friendship with you. I know that I've done wrong things and I just want you to take those things away and forgive me and I want to trust you with my life. And when you do that, it brings you and God together. You're not separated anymore. You could cross over. You're connected with God. You could know him and he'll be with you forever. And when you know somebody, really know them, that's when you become more like them. But until you choose to let Jesus forgive you, you can't ever really know God. He can't ever really be your coach. So I want to share that with you because before we even start our training, you guys have to make that choice if you haven't yet. You have to say, Jesus, I know that I've messed up and I'm sorry. I want you to forgive, forgive me and I want you to come into my heart and I'm going to trust you for my whole life. And I want to get to know you. And when you do that, Jesus forgives you. He'll come be a part of your life and you'll get to know God. He'll get to come be your coach for life. If you don't do that, he can't be your coach. And the truth is, it's up to you. It's your choice. God gives it to you. But I wanted to share it with you so that as we start going through how to become more godly, you guys have made the choice. So you could do that at home. Just tell God your decision. And next week, we are going to talk about how God helps us become more godly. But the first thing you have to do is get to know your coach. You have to trust God with your life so that you could really know him. Okay, so I hope you guys made that decision today. And next week, tune in because we're going to talk more about how we can become more godly. Remember, that's our goal. All right, you guys have a good week and I will see you later.